Okay, so guys, uh, welcome back to the Busy Coder Academy. So now uh, we continue with this uh, uh, Hibernate session, right? So we have seen the hello world of Hibernate, how we can add a few employee to the database. And I believe it was very simple. And uh, I think you must have tried this, right? You, you have code and you just need to import it and run it, right? Okay, so please remember this industry is uh, is for the people those are eager to learn, right? So uh, learn every day, right? Share your knowledge with the other people. That's the only way, right? Okay, so now uh, let me continue. So we have added the employee. Now what I want to do, I want to do more operations, right? So I'm a lazy guy. Let me paste it. So I call this B. And this time I want to say here, show employees, right? So show employees means what? I want to show all those employees, okay? So I need to change the code, right? I need to change the code, but at least the skeleton is still useful. So I need to get the session factory. Okay, I need to get the session, but I don't need to start the transaction actually, right? Okay, why I don't need to start the transaction? Let me delete this. Because I'm not changing the state of database, right? You don't need to start the transaction while reading the record, while reading, reading the record right so i want to read the records if i can type so now what i need to do i need to anyway leave it so what i want to do i want to print the record so this is very very important hibernate is a orm framework right you you know many times i spoken like that so but what i want to do i want to hit this table actually okay i want to hit the table and populate the record and i want to show you using hibernate but Hibernate don't talk in terms of tables, right? It don't talk in terms of SQL, I mean to say. It have a special language of its own that is called uh, HQL, Hibernate Query Language. So if I want to get the record, I have to use a kind of HQL, right? So I can say something like this, employee, and let's say I'm saying here employees is equal to what? Session dot what? Session dot uh, create query, okay? So in the create query, what I can do, I can pass on the query actually. I can say something like this, select E from employee E, okay? So please remember this E is a alias, right? And this employee is not the table name, it is actually the name of entity, right? Remember. So then what I want to do, I want to say type casting. So this is how I will write the query. And then I will say get result list. It will give me the list of all those employee. And then what I can do, I can apply the Java syntax to print that out, right? Okay, so for each, and then I can say here, hey, employee, I want to sys out you, right? Sys out employee. Employee, uh, right, let's say S out. S out E. Okay, so now if I run it, what ideally I believe, right? It should print all those employees. And after that, the connections, session factory and session should be closed. Okay, so here is the record. I hope you can see that our basic operation is working. Okay, but you can do a lot actually, right? Okay, so let me show you some more interesting fact about uh, the select queries actually. Okay, let's say this is for, okay, I'm making the comment, so please refer it. This is for getting the employee's record. Okay, okay, so I want to see everything that is what. But let's say I don't want to see the employee record, I want to see the name only. Okay, I want to see the name only. You understand? So getting the names only. So that is that is also called projection operation in database. Projection operation in DBs, right? So now I want only name of the employees, right? So what I need to say here, select E dot, okay, now refer this entity. You have to refer this spelling, not this spelling actually. You need to refer this guy. So I'm saying that I, I'm only looking for name part, guys. So what I can say here, string, right? So now it will not give me the employees. It will give me, in fact, employees name, right? Let me write like this. Okay, so employees name. So what I need to do, now I will iterate through it and it will give me name, okay? Name. So that name I want to print actually. Okay, so now if I try to run this guy, it should print only name, okay? It's printing the name, right? Like Ravi Raj Ekta, right? So something it is printing, which is obviously working. So this is a very simple projection operation for you. 
there's more you can do actually right okay so what i want to do now i want to not only print the name but i also want to print the salary right i want to print the combo of name and salary you understand right so e dot what salary so what i want to do i want to select both of them actually okay but if i run this code as it is this is going to fail you know why because these two things okay you can think about the uh, think about uh, what i how i should explain it let me explain you so we have this tables right this is the table and it have few columns right to be precise four let me check it out to be precise one two three four right so these are the columns so these are the columns which we have actually oh sorry it have printed everything right cannot i copy this yeah so what we have we have something like this in department eid department e name and salary right so what i want actually let me reduce this font okay so now it should be little better so what i want to do i want to select only these two columns actually okay just try to understand these two columns so of course these two columns cannot be put into string okay and i want this row this row this row i need multiple row also so what hibernate does smartly hibernate will create an array of object this part will consider one object this part will consider one object this part this part and put into array and again this part into array and this part into array and same with the other and then i will get i will get an array list of that array okay so let me show you what i mean i mean to say now you have to mention it like this object array right you are getting as a array of object and it would be like this array of object so now you would have let's say names and what names and survey so i want to print both of the things right so i'm not only covering to show all the record i'm also covering little bit more than right because these things trouble my student every each every day and they are saying because nowadays uh, even companies don't have that much time to train you right they simply want that you should be ready as far as as fast as possible okay so and they just want to teach you a little bit of spring boot and uh, cloud and that's it right but until unless you don't know how hibernate actually works right i cannot help you right okay that's why i thought why not i should create a playlist which anybody can want right and anybody can watch actually okay so let me try to do that so what i will do i will write array of objects right let's say object a okay and i will iterate through it okay and then what i can do here i can say here the zeroth element so i'm very sure zeroth element would be the name part and the first element of this array should be the salary part right so this is how you can think about it okay so now you see that we are getting it correctly right everything is going correctly but actually uh, do, do not think this code looks very clumsy right if you have to print this on ui okay in react or angular it looks very horrible so that's why you can apply some tricks actually you can create a dto right you can create a dto let me show you i can copy this paste it here and i call it employ selected selected data dto right so i'm creating a dto right and of course this don't have to be entity right i must delete all these annotations and i need only two things actually name and salary right so please remember this is not an entity by the way right this is simply a pojo right if i want i can give the constructor right generate constructor i i can create parameterized constructor by annotations also okay so all argument constructor so what i do have okay i do have this particular pojo now i need to teach hibernate hey hibernate bhaiya why not you put the data into that dto right i want to use this to hold the selected data selected 
data, right? So what I can do, I can simply copy this. So one thing I want to share with you, right, that uh, there's no point uh, holding the knowledge with yourself, right? Okay, so that's why I thought, uh, why not uh, share the knowledge, whatever I know in this technical world, right, with you. So you just need to subscribe this YouTube channel, share with your friend, like it, because uh, our aim is to uh, make India number one. It's already uh, number one in technical arena, but still whatever help we can do from our side, we should do that, right? Anyway, so what I want to do, I want to tell Hibernate, hey Hibernate, why not you select both the things into a DTO and return back the list of that DTO, right? Okay, hope you understand. So what I want to say, I want to say something like this. So what Hibernate should do now, Hibernate is going to select these two parts from employee, E is alias. The name of this alias could be anything. So name is selected, salary is selected, and that will be populated in the object of employee selected DTO uh, data DTO, right? Okay, so what I need to do just, I need to write the fully qualified name. Okay, so I need to write the fully. So you might be thinking, hey, uh, is it this all knowledge would be helpful in Spring Boot also? Of course, yes. Because until unless you don't learn Hibernate and JPA correctly, right, uh, you're not going to work in a very great way in your project, to be frank. So what I need to do, actually, I need to select this like this. So let's say I say here, this is object. And now I'm having employee name and salary. So this DTO will give me this object now. Now I can simply have something like this OB dot what? Get name and OB dot what? Get salary. OB dot get salary. So what I want to do now, let me try to run this. Will it work? Okay. So now see that select query is happening and we are finding name and salary. So please also focus on the query also, if you want to understand Hibernate. Okay, so now we are getting the data also. So let me recap what I have taught you in this video. In this video, we have started understanding that we don't need transaction to while reading the record. We start with a simple query, session.create query method we are using. I told you we don't work on SQL, we work on HQL. Although you can work on native SQL also, we'll cover this any other time. And uh, then I told you, rather than selecting all the record, you can do projection operation. You can select two records and those data can be put into array. You can also do projection operation with the help of a DTO. I think this is much convenient because that DTO you can pass on to the UI and uh, get result done on that, right? Okay, so that's it from this video. In the next video, what we cover, actually, we cover the other part of CRUD operation, we'll do actually update part, delete part, and get by ID. Okay, so bye for now. Take care. Keep learning.